Yo, what's going on guys? It's Chase. Welcome back to a brand new video and we got a big update today. So this is coming on the test server and uh, this is posted about 42 minutes ago, 43 minutes ago now uh, on Reddit. And uh, yeah, Gridlock is going to be meta again, I believe. Uh, we're just going to dive into these. It's very, very short. It's just on the TTS. So keep in mind that if they think that these aren't the right moves or these aren't the right choices, it is not final. But let's go ahead and read into it. If you want a link to this uh, Reddit post, I'll leave it down in the description. Uh, but let's go ahead and look. So balancing changes. Gridlock. They say if you've ever stepped on a Lego, this will hurt worse. So uh, they want to make their gadget a bit more enjoyable, they say. We're looking to make Gridlock players' lives a bit easier. Great, honestly. There's no real reason to run Gridlock that much right now. Capital is obviously a better choice for area denial. So they're going to lower the Caltrop deployment time to 9 seconds from 13. That is massive. Like, a 4 second change in Siege is huge. They're also going to lower the individual deployment time by almost half. Also, once again, huge. She's going to be able to take up such a large area so quickly now. And I absolutely love that. And then it adds a delay deployment sequence starting uh, to increase the 0.45 seconds. It previously had no delay. I think this is just to balance it out a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is going to be huge, I think. Uh, Gridlock has obviously been overshadowed the past few seasons by Capital. Ever since they increased the radius of uh, Capital's Firebolt, he's been really, really good. He also has those instant smokes. But now Gridlock, I believe, will have a better... Uh, like a bigger area denial. Uh, she'll have it um, maybe a whole lot longer because those caltrops are permanent uh, if you don't shoot them, as well as smokes. So she's really just going to be kind of another pick to Capital if you uh, prefer something that's not Capital. So that's going to be interesting. Let's look at Oryx. Uh, I love Oryx. They say the rainbow goat has goat to dash. So uh, we want to let Oryx make more use of his dash. Thank God. Honestly, like... The whole point of him is being able to move around the map very freely and, like, rearrange the map to his liking. And I've never liked the fact that using a dash to the soft wall will deplete all of his charges. They've made it to where it will not. So if you run through a wall with three, you're still going to have two. That's absolutely great. I love that as an Oryx player. That's what we need. Uh, the only thing is that there are they are going to increase the dash refresh time. Understandable. If you're going to use three dashes, you're likely just trying to get yourself out of a sticky situation, and uh, you can get back to safety uh, by using those three, so you'll have time to charge them up. Uh, the dash recovery time for all dashes is now 0.5 seconds for recovery. Previously, it was 0.7 if you ran into an enemy, and one whole second if you ran through a soft wall. So now it's being cut in half. You can really catch people off guard now, especially if you're going to be running the MP5 with an angle grip. Absolutely love this change to Oryx. I think a lot of people are really focusing on the gridlock, and it's understandable. But uh, I think people need to pay a little bit of attention to the Oryx uh, buff as well. Fuse is getting a buff, boys. We know how much I just don't think Fuse is that good. Uh, Fuse is uh, basically getting another cluster charge. That is insane, especially in a meta where it's utility dump right now. Uh, yeah, the fact that he's going to have four of these, he can burn Wamai's and Jaeger ADS is just like that. He might see himself transition a little bit to being a meta uh he's still very very slow and very very clunky when moving around the map so that might be an issue but uh yeah we may see fuse kind of be pushed into the meta a little bit for utility dump uh and then lastly uh we'll, we won't go through the bug fixes but lastly gameplay nomads pushback when pushed through a wall by nomads air jabs players will get the same feedback and receive the same damage as when Oryx dashes through a soft wall. It was previously zero. So uh, basically they're buffing Nomad, which is a little bit scary. I know this is like a real gimmicky buff, so it's not like a huge buff at all. But uh, yeah, so these are going to be going on the TTS shortly. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, uh, I think these are some really good changes. I genuinely do think all these changes will actually make it to the main game. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to see all these. I'll probably be playing the TTS soon just to see how new Oryx and new Gridlock feel if Gridlock feels a whole lot quicker. Uh, we may even play it on stream today. So if you're not following the stream, follow the stream with the link down below in the description. And I will see you guys later. Peace.